Hello everyone, welcome back to Ragplay's Aiden Chronicles The First Mage. Uh, as we left off, we were right about to go into the town of Mornia and uh, start heading towards the castle. But before we do, I just actually remembered there is a chest back here that we forgot to collect. So uh, let's just wander down this beach before we go in. It's about 3 o'clock in the morning right now in game time. And uh, wandering into town at that hour is kind of bad juju anyway, so I don't imagine the locals would take it too kindly if we woke them all up. Alright, so there is a dagger in here, and that is a sword that uh, has a minimum strength of 70 use, base hit of 35, and damage 1. So compared to our saber, that saber slash falchion, um, that is pretty garbage. But it's free money, so why not take it, right? There's a bat. Let's fight the bat! This winged menace will not be suffered to pass. Five of them, in total. And they're all gonna get turns ahead of me because, uh... Well, they have Lunar Aspect, and not only that... Uh, their dexterity is probably quite a bit better, since they can w move such a wide margin. Which is kind of surprising, considering bats are like one of the weakest enemies in the game. Actually, the weakest enemy in the game. Giant bats. Uh, there's one dead already. And, uh, he gets two attacks. Look, one of them already fled. A bunch of pussies. Ouch. Okay, I take that back. But I mean, you're all gonna die, just so you know. I'm gonna flap on up out of here. Ugh. The damage is not looking so hot. I think it's because uh, the short sword is actually a piercing weapon, and piercing might do more damage to unarmored creatures overall. Well, I know it would do more to armored anyway. But uh, this is a slashing weapon. By all accounts, this should be doing more damage. Or as much damage. But I seem to have better luck with the uh, with the short sword on the damage front, at least. But uh, regardless, there's another one dead. Oh, we get another turn. Well, miracles do happen. Attack him from behind. These two are about dead. He's gonna flee immediately. He's gonna keep up the attack. Well, I commend him for his courage. But, uh, this is a lost fight, I'm afraid, my friend. Goodbye. Party is victorious. We earned 375 XP and one beast hide. Ooh! Working our way up in the world. Was there anything back here? There was not. And that cave does not go anywhere, I remember that. It's not even a cave, in fact. It's just a hole in the wall. And, uh, it's about, uh, four o'clock in the morning that we're getting into town. I guess that'll have to do, right? We could camp, I suppose. Yeah, we'll camp. Why not? Let us camp here. Ah, past the marshmallows. Keep getting fat, on Alaron. Keep packing on them pounds. Bit of a foggy uh, morning today. It might rain. Oh, here's a gentleman. Let us talk to him. Did they send you to talk to me? Did they? What are you talking about? Nothing, nothing. Move along, son. Okay. Find ourselves a loony right there. Um. There's a chest down here. Let us get the chest. And, uh, in front of us here is a grand old statue of our good King Phelan, who rules over Gwernia and the Oisin Forest and all surrounding areas, I suppose. Let's get a good picture of him and get him into frame here. Yeah, there he is. You, sir, you have anything important to say? Hello, friend! Incredible, the idiots I see on the road these days. What's been going on in the forest? Very rude. 
Don't you have bigger things to worry about? I hear that goblin poison is nasty. Wow, what an asshole, and how do you even know about that? Well, I hear that cancer is a terrible thing to have. Don't you, shouldn't you be, like, off in a hospital somewhere? Yeah. What a jerk. Alright, well, um, let's go check out these houses, I guess. There's another person. Let's talk to him. Maybe he is more friendly than the last. Hello, friend. Hello, squire. It's always nice to see someone from the castle. Now that's better. What's been going on in the forest? Some of the farmers may go out to fight the goblins. I think the knights would do a better job. Don't you agree? I do agree. I appreciate your help. At least he's a nice person. So rare to find one of those. Alright, first house. There is treasure in these barrels. Three curing potions, one inferno flask, and a stealth potion. What do these do? Curing potion, a more powerful version of the healing potion. Restores a large amount of the drinker's lost in endurance and stamina. Creating a curing potion requires three herbs, two spices, and an alchemist skill of at least three. We're going to be downing these like cough syrup uh, in times to come. And an inferno flask, a more powerful version of a fire flask. That should say a sticky incendiary liquid that bursts into flame on contact with the air. Creating an inferno flask requires three gemstones, three spices, and an alchemist skill of at least four. And stealth potions. Temporarily allows the drinker to blend more easily with backgrounds, improving the stealth skill. Creating a stealth potion requires three herbs, two spices, and an alchemist skill of at least two. So, uh, good stuff. We will take all of that. Anybody, anything else, or anybody else in this house? There is not. Let us go up this door. And it's raining. Joy. Just what we didn't want to happen as we came into Gornia. Uh, hello, fine lady. Have you anything to say? That is of importance to us. Can you help me, miss? Help you? I don't even know you. I just want to know if I'm anywhere near the castle. It's right there, man! It's right there behind you. Can you not see? I wouldn't know, young sir. Man! Peasants! So dumb. Stupid, ignorant peasants. Alright. So, uh, let's check out this house. Anything at all? A nice roomy little fire and a bed and a cactus. I don't know how they got that over here. That's quite a long way from being native. And a uh, table. This is a nice little house. Wouldn't mind living here. Um, okay, well it stopped raining, did it? Yes, now it's just foggy. Ugh. Let's go in this one and see if there's anything. A bed and a cold hearth. There is nothing else here. Alright, well that takes care of this section of town. Let us go over here to what appears to have been maybe a blacksmith at one point, or a stable. One or the other. Check it out. A bed with a book. Anything over here? Nothing. Oh, barrels. Nothing. Nothing in the barrels. Okay, well, uh, let's read the book, shall we? Beacon's Journal. Spring. I write this in the springtime following the Battle of Lonely Mountain. They say I saved his majesty, and maybe I did. But at what cost? In what coin did I pay that debt? Okay. Summer. Armor. I wear it to protect myself against the enemy's blows, yet what will I wear to armor myself against mine own thoughts? Obviously we have a somewhat depressed man who used to live here. Maybe he was the blacksmith or the uh, stabler. Fall. Brown turned the leaves in this dismal season. Look at me for pity's sake. I sound now like some mincing minstrel overreaching for a rhyme or a reason. Yeah. Looks as though... Winter. It is done. Even my sword now grows rusty. I dishonor my compatriots. I must find solace in the mountains. Perhaps their echo will fill my heart once again. I will go to Araman. Leave the journal. So, whoever he was, he has left Gornia, perhaps forever, and he has gone to Araman. So what do we have in here? We have what 
I guess would be the stables since these are troughs. Uh, anything in the stalls? There are not. So, what is this? What am I up against? Barrels? No, a pile of hay, maybe. And a ladder. Well, um, let's go up the ladder. We have a crate. Anything else over here? And more hay, so this must be the loft. Alright, uh, now there's some uh, potential loot in here that we might be able to get our hands on, so I'm going to save and uh, we'll see how that goes and see if we can get the best possible scenario. Anything to help us in these early days. Uh, we'll save overwrite that and crack it open. Let's see what's inside. Map 2. Well, that is the item we get by default, but uh, I do not think it is good enough for our purposes. But Map 2, what this does, I'm not entirely sure, but you can't get a description for it. Whatever these things did, and I assume at one point they would have revealed part of the map, uh, that had been taken out of the game or was not fully included in the game. Indeed, there is only Map 2, and I think Map 7, maybe Map 5 left in this game. And for all intents and purposes, they don't really do anything. But, uh, so that's a thing. 34 gold. But uh, we are going to reload that and see if we can get anything better out of that chest, because that is one of the only places we can get a certain something. Map 2 again, same thing. Is this going to be a case of... Uh, it's going to be the same every time, no matter what we do, or... Uh, let's try it again, I guess. Ah, there we go. Random loot there. A leather cloak. So this is an item that we would not normally be able to get until we were long out of this area. But uh, that'll come in very handy. Protection plus one, so that's better than nothing. And we get our map two as well, and 24 gold. So we don't get the 36 gold, we get the leather cloak instead, which is much better. So let's go ahead and put that on. All right. And now, what's our overall protection looking like right now? Check our armor out. Total protection, 5. Total defense, 4. Cool. So I assume that would be 2 from the armor, 1 from the boots, 1 from the cloak, 1 from the hat. We have 3 from the shields. How does that make any sense? Oh well, no matter. I do not know, I do not remember how the tooltips work anymore, it's been so long. Let's go with this door instead. There's nothing else in this house. And we still have, looks like a very thick fog, thick as pea soup that just rolled in. It's heading on into evening now. Hmm. A guard, let us talk to him. Excuse me, sir. What? I was wondering if you would tell me what it was like to stand guard. Better than being a wizard and worrying about exploding. <laughs> I see. Well, I mean, he's got a point. I wouldn't want to explode either. Uh, hello, friend. Did we talk to you already? Excuse me, I'm in a hurry. I guess not. What's been going on in the forest? Well, let's see. Uh, oh yes, I think it's supposed to rain. I see. Well, you know what? The fog being as thick as it is, it's not entirely unlikely. Now over here is the inn, but we're going to refrain from going inside of it because um, after we visit the castle, a quest unlocks with the innkeeper, who's not strangely not present right now, not until we leave the castle. So, can you help me, Miss? Actually, no, I don't think I'm up to it. I just want to know if I'm anywhere near the castle. Man, it's right over there! Don't like castle folk. Much too hoity-toity for my tastes. Oh, thanks anyway. Okay. Six o'clock in the evening. Man, time flies. Let's go up to the second level of the... Uh, the town. You know what? No, because I think I forgot one of the uh, one of the chests back here that I know about. Can't believe I forgot that. It is right down in here when you come into town. And onto 
this ledge, and indeed we didn't forget it, because I am silly. Huh. Just a complete brain fart there, guys. Sorry about that. Okay, now we will go up to the second level of town. Looks like we're going to get another night camping before we go into the castle, because I'm not going to go in the middle of the night. That would be silly. But, uh... Let us talk to you, miss, and see if you have anything to tell us. Can you help me, miss? You look pale. Is something wrong? I just wanted to know if anywhere near the castle... Man! Man, look! Right behind you! I'm seeking the wisdom from the healer of the forest. Do you know her? Appreciate your help. Yes, we know her. Her name is Oriana, and she lives quite a far ways from here. I don't know if you'll be able to get there, though, because you're kind of a peasant woman, and... Well, forests and rats and giant bats and goblins are not generally kind to peasants who go wandering in them. There's the castle, man! Look, it's right there! How, how could you miss that? I guess maybe the fog? But we can see it from here, so we have to assume the character can. Maybe Alaron is nearsighted. Uh, did we go in here? We did not. Let's check it out. There are barrels to check out. Nothing. It's fine, I guess. Ugh, oh, and this music. Good grief. So annoying. Uh, can we go around back of here? No, but there's a chest up there. So, uh, we'll refrain from getting that just yet, just to check out what this gentleman has to say. Hello, friend. Well, what's this, dearie? Are you lost? Looking for your nurse? What's been going on in the forest? What an asshole, by the way. Well, some of the travelers are planning a big party for the moment you leave. Uh, wow. What a dick. Um... Looks like a bed, a table, and a nice little fire and a bookshelf. Nothing of interest. And, uh... We have a well here, by the looks. Or what used to be a well, perhaps. It's dry. Okay, but uh, we have not been into this house yet, which is a shop, as I recall. Is there anything behind here? Yeah, we just a meadowed area. Well, that's fine. Let's go check out the first shop. Actually, no. Let's go behind here and make sure there's no hidden chests or secrets before we uh, have all of our chips to bargain with, or barter with. Oh, there's a ladder there. Uh, yet another thing I'm going to refrain from going down for now, because that is connected to the inn's quest, and we're not going to go uh, wandering around down there just yet, because I don't want to lose the ability to be paid for our work is more important, so let us go into this shop, even though it's the middle of the night. Everyone seems to still be out, so I guess 10 o'clock is an acceptable time to visit people in Aiden. That's not the shop at all. This is the shop. Anything to loot in here? Nothing. Okay, well. You, good sir... Are you open for uh, blah, blah. Are you open for business, sir? Are you royals? Welcome to the shop. What should I know about the town? I can train you in anything, lad, except jousting and needlework and foul plucking and <laughs> Do you wish to buy something or train something? Uh let's see what he has to train first, I guess. Uh Alchemist. So I guess I'll talk about skills while we're on this uh this particular trainer because this trainer actually trains every skill that there is in the game which is handy. Both of the trainers in Guardia train every skill unlike other towns where they are kind of scattered throughout and you have to go looking for them but these ones have everything that we are after. So we'll start with Al Alchemist. Alchemist is the skill that allows us to brew potions obviously and uh, yeah that's pretty much all that does. Diplomat one of the most useless skills in the game looks like a scroll or a pen. 
actually looks like a pen now that I'm looking at it, like a like a quill. Um, diplomat is a skill that allows us to. It will really generally like all these random no-name peasants that we've been talking to are more likely to give us useful information. Like they may give us, uh, they may talk to us about where we could find potential treasure or just be more friendly and accommodating every time we go into town. It's pretty useless overall. It doesn't, uh, like if you know the game well enough, you don't need this in any way. But uh, yeah, people will be more friendly and thus give you more useful information. Healer. Uh, this is a skill that allows us to use herbs and I, I believe just herbs, herbs directly from our inventory rather than having to turn them into potions to heal ourselves or others. We can either lay on hands with this or heal with herbs. And uh, the higher it is, the better the healing is. And that can come in handy later on in the game if you're starved for potions or you can't really afford it. Loremaster. Now this is, uh, this is very similar to Diplomat, except Lore Master deals with how well we can glean knowledge from books and scrolls and other th such things, libraries that we haven't c come across. Uh, the higher it is, the more the book will divulge. So if I have a Lore Master of 1, we might only see the first page, the first entry. But if we have Lore Master of 5, we might say, see three entries and then, you know, so forth going up in that. Um, Mechanic, this is the skill uh, that allows us to both disarm traps on chests as well as craft hides, which I can't show you right now, but those beast hides we've been getting into uh, armor, basically, and other types of hide for that matter. There's like chitin and uh, hellhound hides and various other things that all craft different armor. Merchant, basically, that just gives us better deals at merchants, so it's a good skill to have either buying or selling. Ranger. Now this one is, it serves two purposes. The first purpose is, is it better helps to disguise your camp at night so the chances of running into monsters are uh, less. You have less of a chance to be ambushed in the middle of the night. Uh, you would think that was good, it was not. Or you, you would think that would be good, it is not. Because uh, grinding for monsters or uh, camping and hoping to get spawns, especially bandits. Bandits carry a lot of gold and a lot of potions and a lot of money. If you can beat them in combat, it really does pay dividends, like as long as you're open to grinding. I don't recommend anyone buying Ranger for that reason. Uh, the other thing that Ranger does is increase the amount of, of herbs and spices that you gather from naturally occurring areas, also gemstones. So if you come across like those herbs we picked in uh, the village, the burnt out village, or the spice that we found in the corner back um, an episode ago there, we found spices growing. Uh, more of them, you'll find more of them if you have a higher ranger. Uh, stealth is a skill where if you hold the Z button, it's an active skill, you can potentially walk by monsters without them engaging you in combat. Uh, it's not a terribly important skill because again it's kind of the same thing as ranger. You really generally want to be fighting monsters unless you really can't manage to beat them but if if anything you should want to fight them because there are no random battles in the game so if you're sneaking by uh, monsters you're losing out on XP and loot usually. Thief. Another skill that does twofold things. Thief helps us pick locks on chests and it also uh, Improves the chance of landing a critical hit with a melee weapon from behind. So just like in D&D, &D, uh, critical hits and things like that. More damage. Good good combination if you're going to be a fighter. you got to max out your thief skill. Troubadour. Now this would be the bard skill, or if you wanted to build like a bard. Uh, your character would cast this like a spell at the beginning of combat. It would be selected from the menu. We have one right now, so I could have shown you that, but I didn't want to because that would be a bad idea. Uh, since we're only one party member. You'd cast that at the beginning of combat and your character would be stuck playing music, so it kind of like works like the bard songs in D&D 2.0 or AD&D basically, where that character has to continue playing that instrument the entirety of the battle and it provides buffs of some sort. It actually doesn't even tell you what buffs. It just says it increases the chances of success in combat and reduces the enemy's chances. I'm not sure how effective that is, to be perfectly honest. I used to use it a lot when I was a kid not really knowing what it did, but I thought it was helping. 
I don't know, I don't even reckon that it does that much, at the start at least. Warrior. Improves our fighting skills and defenses and allows the possibility of scoring critical hits in hand-to-hand -hand or missile combat. That's a very good skill to have if you're a warrior or you plan on being a melee class of some sort. Or just use mar use martial weapons. Wizard. Same deal except for magic, basically. Improves the chance of successfully casting spells and allows the character to cast more difficult spells. So the better, we spe better spells we get, the more the higher our rank in wizard is, and also allows for critical hits when offensive spells are cast, which is cool. Want to get that maxed out. Hafted is, uh, inc improves the character's chances to hit with axes and maces. That's for bows and um, uh, just bows, I believe. Pole is for uh, staves and spears. Sword is for swords and daggers. Throne is for any type of throwing weapon. Shield is for shields. I think shield improves the defenses, yes. Okay. That is the entirety of the skills. And uh, what do you have to buy, actually, sir? I want to buy something. Healing potions, gemstones, herbs, and spices. Can we sell anything to him? We could get rid of these stealth potions, which could come in handy. That's actually a lot of money, and we might get rid of those, yeah. We're going to get rid of all but one of them, we'll say. I want to sell one of them, I want to sell one of them, and I want to sell one of them. So we have 1,640 gold, which is quite nice, quite lovely. Uh, beast hides, we'll keep those for now, because we may craft some hide armor, if anybody has mechanic. All of that we'll keep, because those are... That's a one-of-a-kind item. We probably will never find one again, so we'll keep it for collection purposes. And, uh, yeah, that'll, that'll do for now. So, let's exit here. And, uh, go into the last shop, to which we recall there was a chest up on top of it, so might be a way in way up in here someplace. Check the barrels for any loot. Nothing. There's chests up here, but we can't break into them. More barrels. Nothing in them. And the shopkeeper is right there. Let's check all these boxes and barrels, too. Nothing in those. Before we talk to him, let's go uh, raid his secret stash, I guess. It would be his secret stash. He built the house right up against this cliff. Stick a chest on top. Not a bad idea, but not count on our wow. Uh, I guess business must not be that great, because that was a whole 18 gold you were hiding up here, man. That's not a whole lot. It's a uh, pocket change. But it put us up to 1658, so that's cool. Are you open for business, sir? We are. Can I help you, Squire? What should I know about the town? I'm an orphan myself. How can I help you, brave youngster? Do you wish to buy something or train at something? Uh, what does he have to train to start? He has basically the same with slightly less uh, ability to learn skills. Like, he has less high in levels. I'm sorry about that. I was yawning. <laughs> I'm actually recording this quite late in the day. Just turned dark now, so it's starting to get dark earlier, being almost August and all. Let's see what he has to buy proper, though, for items. A healing potion, a dagger, a hatchet, which is a throwing axe, with a rubbish base hit, but a decent damage. Hunter's bow. Decent damage, rubbish base hit again. A javelin, very good damage. Uh, okay base hit. A mace, good base hit. Uh, good damage. I'd like to be able to buy one of those, but it's 575. I believe our sword would be better anyway to hit because of the buffs to sword versus hafted that we would have to make the trade off on a saber, which is basically a falchion. <laughs> that we already have. That saved us some money getting that back in the uh, the town. 
a short bow, which is worse than the hunter's bow, a short sword, which we already have, a spear, which has quite a good base hit and quite good damage, a staff, okay base hit, okay damage, and a tanto, which I believe is a Japanese dagger or knife, is it not? That is an, an amazing base hit, which is really good accuracy, but kind of garbage damage. But uh, we may wind up buying that for one of our uh, one of our party members that we're going to be getting up ahead. Could be useful, a throwing knife. Uh, cloth armor, which is worse than what we have on, but provides a stealth bonus. Leather armor, which is what we're wearing, and scale armor, which is better than what we're wearing. However... We're going to be getting better armor than that anyway in the castle, so I'm going to refrain from buying that now. It's also quite expensive, and I don't want to spend that much money. It's got a stealth malice and a dexterity malice that is more than the leather armor, I believe. A buckler. A buckler is more like a uh, is more like a weapon than a shield, but it counts as a shield in this game. Um, it's for binding blades with use in combination with an arming sword in real life. Protection 1, Defense 2, versus our large shield, which is Protection 3, Defense 4, so that's much better. Large shield, which we already have, and a small shield, which was our starter shield, and our herb. Uh, we will refrain from buying anything for now, I think, due to the fact that uh, I want to know exactly what we have to draw resources from before I go spending all my money. Alright, so... I think that is pretty much it for the town. Uh, we will go and camp outside the town before we go into the castle, so at least it'll be daytime once we get in there. I don't want to show up in the middle of the night. Since we can't use the inn, that is, let us well go outside. It's also free, so can't knock it for that. Alright. I'm gonna drop a save here. Let's overwrite our old one. And then go camp. Ah, past the marshmallows. Keep on chugging those down, Aleron. Get huge. Uh, it is the 22nd of the late blooming season. So 22nd of May, maybe? Let us head over to the castle. Nice day. Currently about... 9.30 in the morning, and there it is. We found our way here in the end, didn't we, Aleron? Despite all the lostness that we had to ask around for where we lived, because we wouldn't know that, would we? No. It's crazy. Uh, we have a rather asymmetrical castle, but one with a big... Uh, wizard tower slash observatory over there. Which is cool. And uh-oh, it looks like we have a welcoming committee that has uh, kindly showed up to greet us. back. We were just ready to set out again. Weren't we, Sir Abrikin? Set out? The king is beside himself with worry. Farmers say there are goblins in the forest, is it true? There certainly is. And monsters. We've heard all kinds of rumors. The king has ordered everything and everyone to go after you. I'll speak to him right away. Alaron, let me speak with you first. Not only has the king ordered a search, 
He's also asked all the travelers on the road to look for you. Despite the warnings of monsters and goblins, farmers have left their, their fields, magicians have been asked to consult the stars. Right now, my best knights are out in the wilderness searching, all because you took it into your head to play hero. It wasn't like that. I, I didn't mean to worry you. You've been gone for days. I'm sorry, Abrikin, but I didn't plan on an attack. Attack? When were you attacked? Look, I'm in no mood to explain. Wait. Prince Sheridan claims you were looking for some someone. Far be it from me to argue with Sheridan. Alaron, we just want to know what happened. Goblins attacked. An ambush was in the woods not far from here. Kendall is dead. If this is true, we must tell the king. Prince Sheridan. Run to the training room. Tell Treherne the boy is safe. Have him call off the search. But Sir Abrikin. Do as I say. Now we know how, who wears the pants in this castle. Can I go now? Stop right there, squire. And start explaining. The goblins were too strong for me. Naturally, they attack in groups. How could you hope to fight them all? I don't know. They have patrols. They move at night. Everyone out there in the forest is afraid. They're horrible, Abrikin. Enough of that. So you found Kendall. And then what? You escaped on your own? There was a healer gathering herbs. She stumbled across me. What healer? I've been all through the castle looking for you. I've spoken to everyone. No one's seen you for days. She isn't a castle dweller. She lives in the clearing and by the edge of the forest. Her name is Oriana. What's the matter? Nothing. You don't believe any of this, do you? Just finish the story. It's not a story, it's the truth. Oriana dragged me out of the woods and back to her hut. She cast a spell, but she couldn't cure you. No. She said ordinary herbs were useless. You must go to the throne room. I'll be alright. Huh? Prince Sheridan? What's that? Oh, oh, yes, yes, Sir Abrikin. If you please. Oh, yes, of course. Training room. Training room. Yes, yes, yes. Right away. We'll tell the king. We'll find Gechina and speak to her. We'll ask... Bowden what to do next. So that was a rather icy reception from our good mentor, Abrikin. He was none too pleased with us. Let us talk to these guards. Excuse me, sir. What can I do for you, young sir? I was wondering if you would tell me what it's like to stand guard. Maybe someday you could be a night squire. That's interesting. That is not what I asked. How about you? Excuse me, sir. Sometimes it rains. My feet hurt. And now you. This music's too loud. I'm cold. I'm tired. My feet hurt. I was wondering if you would go. If you would tell me what it's like to stand guard. As if I have the time to banter with you. Thank you. Well, fine then. And uh, before we head into the castle, I think we will take the, uh, the time to pause here and uh, split these episodes up so it doesn't get too, un 
uh, uncomfortably long, or terribly long for that matter, so I will see you all in just a minute. Thank you for watching, and I'll be right back.